Hey y'all, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm really excited to get into today's video because today I'm gonna be doing a review and a first impressions on this ColourPop Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I have mine here in the shade Medium Dark and I'm really excited to get into this because I've honestly been waiting for this product for so long. I've been seeing ads for it on my Facebook and my Instagram for like the past two months, but basically all the shades have been sold out until this past week. So I managed to pick one up before they sold out again and I'm really excited to go ahead and get into it, try this product out and give you guys a review. So if y'all are interested in seeing that, be sure to stick around till the end of the video. Before we get into it though, I just want to say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers out there. Thank you all for always sticking around, constantly supporting my content, and helping me to grow my channel. If you are new here and you haven't already, just be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell button as well so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. And as well, if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So like I said, this here is the ColourPop Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I have mine here in the shade Medium Dark. I'm just going to go ahead and read the packaging. What it is is a cream balm bronzer that enhances your natural skin tone with a radiant touch of color. And it says it effortlessly blends to a velvety smooth soft focus finish and leaves skin instantly sunkissed. So sounds right up my alley. I hope it lives up to the claims that it blends effortlessly and that it has a smooth soft focus finish because that's all I really want in a cream bronzer something that's going to blend effortlessly and look seamless with my skin. That's why I tend to gravitate towards cream bronzers. And here at the bottom of the packaging it just lets you know that ColourPop is vegan, cruelty free, paraben free and mineral oil free. I'm gonna go ahead and open the packaging. Actually, I've had this for a couple days now. Usually when I have a new product, I bust into it within the first day, but you know, I had a little bit of self-control this time, surprisingly. So this is what the front of the product looks like, and then here's what it looks like on the back. This retails for $15, and you get 1.1 ounce of product. Now I've seen a lot of people comparing this to the Chanel cream bronzer, that one bronzer that's like $70 that only comes in one shade. This comes in seven shades, and it retails for $15. And in addition, you do get a little bit more product. The Chanel bronzer comes with one ounce of product. This comes with 1.1 ounce of product. And it's not a huge difference, but I mean, product is product. And like I said, it's already cheaper to begin with. So the fact that you're getting even more product for less money, if this does perform just as well, if not better than the Chanel bronzer, not that I would know because I've never tried it, but I'm just saying if it does, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the product. So when you first open the product, there's a little plastic cover here to protect the bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. And then here's the bronzer underneath. So like I said, this is a shade medium dark and I'll go ahead and do a quick swatch on my arm just so you guys can have an idea of what this color looks like because I know a lot of people like to use my videos for shade reference for products. So I went ahead and did two swatches here. So here at the bottom I did more of a heavy swatch and then up here I did one that was a little bit more blended out just to see how much I could sheer it out and how blendable it is. It blended really easily with my finger so it looks like the bronzer is going to be buildable which is nice because I do like to have the option to build out my bronzer. I don't want to go too heavy. I like being able to have options and to be able to darken it up a little bit more if I want to or not. Also, I'm not sure how it's going to dry down on my face, but just feeling it on my arm here after I let it sit for a minute, it does seem to have a little bit of like a cream to powder finish stain going on. It doesn't really feel tacky or sticky or anything like that, which is really nice. I don't want a cream bronzer that doesn't settle down because I don't want it sliding off my face and just feeling heavy on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the product now. So they would say to use their rounded kabuki brush to pick up the product and to buff it into the skin. I already have enough makeup brushes. I did not feel like buying their kabuki brush. I feel like it's not necessarily the tools you use, it's the artist, you know what I'm saying? I went ahead and skipped that whole step of buying the kabuki brush. We're just gonna use what we have here at home. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. airbrush stipple brush to go ahead and apply the bronzer. I like this one because it has a tapered brush head, so it really allows you to apply the product in layers and build it up. Also, one little complaint I do have about this, seeing as it's in a pot and not a compact or what have you, there's no mirror attached with this, so you do need a separate mirror to go ahead and apply this. Not a huge deal, but I've become accustomed to most of my makeup products, including my cream bronzers, having an included mirror so just something to keep in mind you're gonna need a separate mirror to go ahead and apply this so I'm just gonna use the mirror in my Fenty Beauty bronzer to see what I'm doing so I'm picking up a little bit of product I'm just gonna apply it layer by layer Okay, so I'm just stippling it on right now. I haven't even really started to blend it out. But even just stippling it on, I don't see any line. It's blending in seamlessly with the skin. It's not lifting off the foundation underneath, which reminds me, I should also go ahead and say that I did do my base off camera. I just went ahead and applied some It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Medium Tan all over my face. And then I went ahead and just used a clear brow gel on my brows. But that's all I got going on in the face. And so far, it's blending seamlessly on top of the CC Cream. It's not lifting it at all. So far, I like how it's applying just in this little area I'm applying it to. Also, I'm really loving the undertones as well. I was a little afraid based on how it looked in the pan that it might be a little bit on the 
warm side, a little bit too warm. I don't know how it's gonna come across on camera because I feel like the video looks a little bit different when I sit down and edit versus what I see in the viewfinder, but hopefully the camera's doing it justice and showing you all the color of this bronzer because it has a really nice mix of cool and warm tones, kind of like the Fenty Beauty cream bronzers. So it really helps to give your skin that nice sun-kissed golden look, but also helps you if you do like to use bronzer that way to define your features and really sculpt your face out because it does have a good blend of warm and cool tones. So it's good for sculpting and bronzing. So I went ahead and bronzed one whole side of my face. So here is the side with the bronzer and here's the side without. As you can see, the bronzer really helped to really sculpt out my face and really define my features, but it's also giving me a healthy glow and it really helped to warm everything up, really brought some life back to the side of the face and helped to make everything not look so flat because I feel like the side's looking a little flat. It blends out super effortlessly and honestly, I really can't even tell that I'm wearing a separate product on top of my foundation. It just looks like it's a part of my foundation. It even has pretty much the same finish as the CC cream. There's like no line of demarcation between where I haven't applied it and where I have so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the other half of my face now and bring some cohesion back to this look oh. Okay, so that's the bronzer applied to my whole face. I went ahead and hit the forehead, cheekbones, chin, a little bit on the nose and on the neck just to kind of bring everything together. So like I was saying, with it applied to this side, it blends in seamlessly. There's no line of demarcation between the bronzer and my foundation underneath. And it reminds me of the Fenty Cream bronzer in so much as it is buildable. I was a little afraid that I might've gone like a shade too dark. I haven't really seen too many swatches of it online. I haven't seen really too many video reviews of it. So I was kind of shooting in the dark when I was picking out the shade that I wanted but this looks like a perfect shade honestly just feeling the bronzer it settles down nicely I said it's had like a cream to powder finish on my arm I don't know if that's still accurate but it could just be how the bronzer is playing with my products underneath as well I do have the CC cream as well as my skincare routine going on so that might just be causing it to apply slightly differently on my face versus my arm that said while I wouldn't necessarily call it cream to powder on the face it's definitely not tacky like it has dried down significantly I don't feel like any stickiness when I'm touching my face and I know some people are put off by cream products because they're afraid it's gonna feel greasy or heavy on the face, but I can tell you that I don't feel like I'm wearing anything right now. So this bronzer is really nice and lightweight. I do just wanna put it to the test a little bit and see if you can build it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply another layer and see if I can deepen this a little bit. So here is what it looks like with a second layer applied. It is buildable. The color did deepen a little bit. I do look a lot more golden than I did with just one layer. Even with another layer applied, it's still blended seamlessly. I can't really see any lines or streakiness or anything like that. There's no real separation between the bronzer and the CC cream, like I mentioned earlier. It still blends in really nice, plays well with everything. And even with the second layer applied, again, it dried down really well and it doesn't feel tacky or sticky. I don't feel like my foundation lifted at all and it left everything intact. Again, I'm just really in love with the color of it. I was really afraid it was gonna be a little bit too warm, a little bit too like unnatural looking, but it has such a good blend of cool and warm undertone. So it just looks like a natural tan on me. So overall, I'm really loving the product. I found another great addition to my growing cream bronzer collection. I really didn't know what to expect with this. This is my first ever ColourPop makeup product that I've ever tried, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So final thoughts. First of all, it's a really great value. You get a lot of product for $15. It comes in seven shades, ranging from really fair to pretty deep. So no matter what your skin tone is, you should be able to find a shade that works for you for the most part. I really love that these apply sheer, but they're buildable. So you can go ahead and customize the intensity of the bronze. I love how it finishes. It blended in seamlessly with my base. There's no line of demarcations, no streakiness, anything like that. And it dries down really nice. It doesn't feel tacky or anything like that. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slide off my face. Overall, I'm really impressed with this bronzer and I'm loving how it's performing. And I'm really excited to use this in the future and possibly possibly making this one of my staple bronzing products. But that's it for my review today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I was really excited to make this video. Like I said, I've been waiting for almost two months now for this product to come back in stock and it finally did. So I went ahead and rushed right away to get it and I could not wait to sit down and film this review for y'all and try it out. But I am satisfied with my purchase. I'm impressed with how it looks, how it applies. And definitely if you have your eyes on this bronzer and you're on the fence about whether or not to buy it, I would say go ahead and cave. But that's it for my review today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, 
did, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you liked about this video, what you disliked. Let me know any ideas you have for any future videos you want to see. Let me know if you want to see me do a review on a specific product so I can keep those in mind for future video ideas. If you haven't already, just be sure to go ahead and click subscribe and the bell button as well so you can stay up to date on all my content. And with that being said, I should be back shortly with a new video. Bye.